Hey Scorpio, what's up? I hope you guys are all really well. This is going to be a general love reading for the second half of September 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And because it's general, that means it's not going to be everybody's situation. It just cannot resonate for every single Scorpio. That is okay. If you would like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And please do remember that the roles can be reversed, regardless of whether you are watching for yourself or cross-watching for another Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what is going on with you and another person. Mid-September to the end of September 2022. For this situation, we have the King of Swords crossed by the Two of Cups. Okay, so, 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 somebody is overthinking this is um, the message that I'm getting here. Um, somebody is trying to just think very, very rationally, very logically, and that seems to be preventing um, some kind of happiness between the two of you coming together. Let's see the recent past. We have the Two of Swords. Okay, so there may have been some kind of either, it may or may not be an argument, but I feel like recently there has been some kind of either doubting the connection or just like not agreeing on something. Like something between the two of you is just not, not aligning with each other. For you, we have the Moon and the Five of Swords. Ooh, Scorpio, okay. Um, so number one, we do have Pisces showing up here. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces or you might have strong Pisces in your chart. Um, you're feeling like you don't know what's going on here. I feel like there's, you just feel like you're left in the dark and I feel like I have said this to you at least like two or three times <laughs> recently um, in, your, in your readings. So that's interesting. Um, I feel like you're just dealing with a situation where like you just don't know what's going on. Um, and there's this sense of betrayal here with the Five of Swords. I do also get with that Five of Swords that even though you, you're the one who feels betrayed here, you're also wanting to look out for your own self. Almost like you don't, you're, you don't want to allow any more betrayal. Let's see for them. The Magician and the Four of Cups. So whatever it is that this person is doing, um, I feel like they're trying to manifest this. They're trying to somehow bring this together. But the way that they're going about it is actually just bringing in disappointment um, to their own self. There's some depression here that this person might be going through. Um, let's see. For the near future, we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, that's very, very promising because this talks about stability. This talks about commitment, consistency also. And the message for you is the chariot. Okay, so Cancer. So we do have a lot of, um, we have water signs showing up, right? We do have um, Pisces and we also have Cancer. Um, yeah, we'll see. This is a message for you and I don't want to say anything about it until we actually clarify. But what I do get initially with this card is that something might be coming in really quickly or something might happen unexpectedly and you might just need to release control and allow it to happen. So let's see, let's clarify. Let's see that King of Swords with the Two of Cups for the situation. What is happening here? The Four of Cups again, which is attached to your person here. The Lovers, all right, Gemini, and the King of Pentacles again. Yeah, it really feels like stability and consistency in commitment is a big part of the issue here. Um, somebody is really, again, I feel like they might even be really focused on work um, or just focused on things that 
they feel would just be more rational. I almost feel like this person doesn't have love as a priority and what they don't realize is that that is actually depriving them of happiness. That is what is actually creating this four of cups energy, right? That depression, that even a sense of boredom, a sense of dissatisfaction, of just not feeling fulfilled, right? Because there is love here. This is somebody who does have love for you and this is somebody who does want this connection. But I feel like they're not prioritizing it. It feels like they're prioritizing other things, thinking that that's just more rational. Almost like this person feels like, you know, I mean, love is not as important as finances or maybe even status or other practical things. And for whatever reason, right, they may have been conditioned to believe this, you know, that love is just something silly, for example. And so because of that, you know, this is affecting the connection between the two of you. This is what is preventing the two of you from being together fully and happily ever after. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you just don't agree with this mentality. So let's see the Two of Swords for the recent past, because that's what I feel this is about, that you just don't agree with this. The Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you, you just have a different perspective when it comes to what it is that you priorita prioritize. Um, you, the way that this situation has been progressing and you feeling like it's having a hard time taking off, you know, and, and I feel like, you know, you, you felt like, you know, you were just waiting like for something to happen. You were waiting for this takeoff and because it wasn't happening, because this person is prioritizing other things, you know, that's a big, big clash. And so I feel like you began to have doubts just about all of this and where it might lead and what might happen and that's why you're kind of um in this moon energy like you're in the dark here about it because you don't really know what's going on um so for a lot of you you may not have been aware um that it's that this person just has other you know they have, it's like their priorities are a little kind of messed up and i feel like you know this is something that they need to learn that yes you know what though love is important because that is what fulfills us that is what fulfills us and it needs to be high up on our list. So let's actually see. Let's clarify that moon. The Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, you're questioning this, this stability and whether this person is even progressing or whether they're even, you know, moving in the direction of stability and consistency. Uh, I feel like you just don't trust that. It's like you're losing trust in this person and in where this might might go and what the potential is. Let's see the Five of Swords. The Six of Swords and Judgment. Yeah, a huge trust issue here. Um, I mean, you feel betrayed by this. You feel betrayed by this person not showing up 100%. And so I feel like, you know, you're in the process of trying to make a decision here. Um, trying to... Trying to put your best interest first. And that means distancing yourself, moving away from this connection. So you're trying to make that decision, but I feel like you don't even trust that in yourself. Like you you just, you don't trust the connection. You don't trust this person as to whether they will come around. Um, and then at the same time, you know, you're not fully trusting whether you want to move away from it either, which makes sense. I mean, because you do feel like, you know, you do feel the love that is here between you and this person. So it can be quite difficult. <clears throat> it's, it's like you feel like you would have to, like, hurt yourself almost in order to move away that you would also be betraying the connection in some way or that you would be betraying a part of yourself by doing this and so that can make it a lot harder yeah i definitely feel for you scorpio it's not easy it's not an easy decision here and, and i mean just by judgment showing up here judgment is never an easy card it's 
I do get though that you're getting a lot of like um, insights and a lot of enlightenment about this and it's just really a matter of trusting yourself. Let's move on to this person. Let's see the magician. The sun. Okay, so Leo's energy and the ace of swords. <clears throat> yeah, so this person wants to manifest happiness. They want to manifest happiness, success, all of these things. And so I, I do get that their intentions are actually positive. Their intentions are good. Like I said in the beginning, I, I just really feel like this person just is confused about their priorities. Like they're confused about what it is that's actually going to bring happiness. Almost like this person feels like, okay, I need to get other things in line first and then focus on love. They don't realize that they could actually also have love at the same time as they are working on whatever else it is that's high up there on their priority list. All right, so yeah, they're trying to manifest happiness here. Um, but it's just that the way that they're and they're trying to manifest you, they're trying to manifest this connection, but the way that they're going about it is just off. It's not giving them the results that they would want. And that's why we have the Four of Cups. So let's see the Four of Cups, please. Two of Swords, yeah, and Strength. Okay, so Leo is actually showing up twice here. Definitely let me know if you're dealing with Leo or another water sign doesn't have to be it could be any sign um, I did say we also have Gemini showing up here possibly an earth sign for some of you as well <clears throat> okay so yeah there's a lot of this person is really going to feel the disappointment of you know what they've been doing because they're losing out they're missing out and I almost feel like again it's almost like you know they had like blindfolds on like they couldn't even see um, where this was leading them, right? Like they started off in this way, thinking that that's going to lead to happiness and they had no idea that it was actually leading to this disappointment and that you are now distancing yourself and they're going to be left feeling empty. I, I actually even saw the temperance card and the message that I'm getting is that uh, this person doesn't even realize how time goes by and it's like suddenly they just wake up and it's like, you know, it's been, I don't know how long and they're like, okay, wait, you know, I, I, and I still don't have this happiness. So I, I do get that they are beginning to see this with that strength card being here. Um, realizing that they need some kind of strength to actually change this, which is not easy because it's been like so programmed in their minds. And they have been like oblivious to this, to what they've been actually manifesting. All right, let's see that King of Pentacles for what is coming up, which is very promising here. All right, Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, beautiful. Yeah, okay, so it is taking a little bit of time, okay? It's not happening from one day to the next, but I see that there is some effort that is being put in here in order to finally bring consistency and stability in terms of love right, in a love connection, Ten of Cups, realizing that happiness is not just everything else. It, a big part of happiness is having love in our lives. So this is something that this person is moving, moving towards. But again, with that Seven of Pentacles, it's step by step, step by step, putting in that effort and moving in that direction. And again, I feel like it's taking strength because it, um, it's not easy to just all of a sudden switch around your priorities of something that you've been so used to. All right, let's see the chariot for the final message for you. The five of cups and the nine of wands. Ooh. All right. So you're being asked here, um, to try not to dwell on the negatives 
in your life or of this connection or you know of how this is making you feel right you've been through a lot here um, I feel like this is a connection that has or a situation that has been creating a lot of grief for a very long time or at least it feels like a long time with the chariot though it's again as I said before it's like you're being asked to just you know release control because you you cannot control this there's nothing actually that you can do like this person has to learn these lessons on their own and a big part of their lesson is um, to actually go through a little bit of a hard time here All right they're gonna have to feel that emptiness feel that loss of the connection of your energy before taking action but I feel like once they do take this action it's it is step by step but again like time passes like it's going to once like they get on that road it's like they're on it they're on it and it's just going to you know take off from there like it's just until the ball gets rolling so Scorpio, if this resonated, please do give me a thumbs up and let's get a final oracle message for you. And we have serendipity. Nice. Yeah, I feel like things are coming together. This is just Spirit's message to you, you know, that everything is happening for a reason. None of this is a coincidence. It's supposed to happen because there are lessons that are being learned and this is just how we grow. So I'm going to leave it at that. I thank you so much for watching Scorpio and much love.